What is this? Let's build it. Um, so pentane, I know there's five carbon. Okay. Like that's the longest chain. Don't do that. <laughs> one, two, three. Okay, I just lost count. One, two, three, four, five. Good. And then I know that at the three, there's two methyl groups. So where's the three? And actually, let's, let's number this guy. Okay. Yeah, let's list it. I want to just go. Since if I, either way, if I start on the left or the right, I'd end up at three in the center. Exactly. I'm just go that way. Like that. Okay. Um, two, actually, let me move this around this mm -hmm. way. Two dimethyl. So that means I have that right there, right? Good. That's, That's exactly right. Okay. Look at that. So perfect. I like that you started at the end. Oh, okay. That's exactly correct. You said, okay, this is pentane. Uh -huh. Pent, I know, is five. Mm -hmm. And from there, I'm going to number everything. At three and three, this just means that there are two, because of the dye, methyl, mm -hmm. two methyl groups at three. Yes. Perfect. Next. What's this question asking? Um, I know. I forgot that was anyone. <laughs> I was like, that was so easy. Okay. Draw <laughs> the possible stereo isomers for the following. Okay. So it's the same thing. We'll use the N. Two Good. To the N. What's N? Um, number of chiral centers. So it'll only be one. So it's two. There's two possibilities, right? So three. describe a chiral center. It and would have and point to where that is. Is there none? Good. Okay. Why? So if I were to pick any of the carbons, mm -hmm. I'd only get like three different groups or like two, but I wouldn't get four complete different groups. You wouldn't get four exactly. That's exactly right. And most people would think, oh, there's that's there's, where my mind yeah, is. <laughs> right. You you see this branching and you think, okay, yeah, that that's it. But these are the same groups. Yeah, that's true. And then same thing here. These two are the same groups. Mm -hmm. You only have two different groups. And then same concept here, there's there's two hydrogens. Nope, that's not a possibility. There's three hydrogens here, uh -huh. not a possibility. So that's kind of the clue here. If no stereoisomer is possible, then nothing. Then we label it. No possible. And there's okay. nothing. Okay. This would have been your answer. Okay. That that's it. The whole purpose of building this is just to see are there any possible stereoisomers? That's true. Yeah. Once you identify, yes, there's a chiral center, then you start to add the stereochemistry, oh, exactly, okay. and see the different possibilities. So if you like this practice problem and want to try another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire study session, click right here.